another lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to save data in your Apple Watch app. And let's get right into it. So if you recall, we actually named this project Grocery List. And if that doesn't give it away, let me shed some light. So our Grocery, grocery List app will allow us to use the text input and uh, basically speak out loud what we want to get from the store and we should be able to save it and then display it back to the user in a nice table. So I'm picking up exactly where we left off in the last video. So let's go ahead and delete these three screens that we made um, as we don't need them. Let's delete two of these buttons and this button right here, let's call this add item. Let's head back to our code and delete two of these actions. Um, let's change this action to add button tapped. And let's add a label outlet, which is going to be item. Let's call it item label and make it a little more specific. It's going to be of type label. And what we're going to basically be doing is we're going to allow the user in this video to select the add item, um, enter via their voice what item they want. And when they close the app and reopen it, that label will show whatever they saved last via the input. So in this add button tab, let's again do uh, a presentation of the text input controller like we did in an older lesson. This will be nil. This will allow emojis and our completion will be results in. We're going to make sure there is indeed a result. And what we will be doing in here is we're going to say self dot item label. We're going to set its text to results and the first thing in this as a string. And if you recall, we should also dismiss the text input that we have presented. And let's also wrap this inside of the operation that we talked about a couple lessons ago. So we make sure that it happens instantaneously. Like so. And let's go connect our outlet and action as we've edited them in our code. So we probably have some funny things going on over here. So let's just connect that and connect this action. And let's add a label so we can actually connect it to that label, connect the outlet to the label. And let's go ahead and right click this and drag this item label to this label. So right now, from an earlier lesson, we saw that we can hit this, basically speak, speak something and the label will reflect whatever we spoke. But when we close and reopen the app, everything will reset. So how do we allow the user to see what they said last? In other words, save their entry. So there's something called user defaults and it allows us to save values and keys. So a key could be something like item and the value could be like apples. So a key maps to a value. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to write a simple way to get our keys and values from this user default thing. So let's say let user defaults, we're going to create an instance of user defaults make sure I spelt that right. And it's going to be user defaults. And when our app first loads, what we want to do is we want to say the item labels, we're going to set the text. And what we want to do is we're going to say user defaults dot, and we want to get the value and we want to get the key for that value will be item. And this returns either the item, whatever is set for that value or nil. So we want to say if this is nil, basically nothing was returned, let's set the text empty. And let's see if that's correct. Well, that's not correct because we want to use this user defaults. And hopefully value for key, this is going to be item. And if this item comes back as nil, in other words, nothing is set, we are going to be showing the user uh, an empty empty label. And 
this is yelling at us because it's saying cannot convert value of type any question mark. So we're going to say this value for key, this comes back as a string. Because we want to save a string, right? Because the user is entering in some data and let's say the user says banana as the item they want and we want to save it as a string. So every time the app loads, it'll try to get from this user default save area, which is kind of like a, think of it as a dump of things you can save, whatever the value for this item key is. And it'll be empty initially, of course. Once the user has uh, inputted the, whatever they want to input, the item, we want to save it here. And before we do that, let's, uh, let's see why this is yelling at us. So this is saying uh, value of optional type any. So let's actually say result and put an exclamation mark here and that should satisfy it, hopefully. Maybe not. Let's see, did I misspell something? So we're saying, ah, this is why. We forgot to put let in there. So let's fix this again. So that looks good to me. So the last thing we want to do here is after the label is updated to the text that the user has spoken, let's save it in user default. And the way we do that is on this user default variable, there should be a function called set value for key. Cool, set value for key. And we already know the key is item as we made up. Um, and again, this key can be anything uh, that is a string and here we're gonna say we want to set this result as a string for this key and for some reason it doesn't like it so let's actually get rid of this string and this should be sufficient actually apparently not so let's see it says reference to property user default so it wants us to put a self before this like so and again, I, I really want to stress, I'm not going to be editing out uh, these errors that I'm personally facing while I do these videos as it's not a matter of being perfect and not getting an error. Sometimes it's a little bit of an uh-oh moment where you kind of forget to do something or you overlook it even after uh, almost a decade of doing this type of development. So totally normal and I encourage you not to get discouraged by hitting errors. So let's go ahead and run this video. Uh, sorry, run this application. And while this boots up, actually, let's uh, let's recap. So we have this action here. In here, we are presenting the text input controller. We're assigning it to the label once the user has hit done. We're saving the data in this user default thing. Every time the app opens, we want to set the label's text to whatever this user default value is for the item key. In the storyboard, we have hooked up the outlet for the label and we've hooked up the action for the button. And I believe this has started, so let's see. So our label is here, but it's it has nothing in it. So it's like empty text because as I mentioned earlier, our item has not been set yet. So let's hit this, apples. So we hit done and we have apples here now. So now let's actually close the app hit pause and you can see back here that the app has closed and let's run this one more time and once the app opens the label should already say apples because that's what's saved so this opens up here and boom as we thought we have apples here and that about does it for this lesson so saving data is very important and uh, again keeping a theme with our grocery list application you can imagine if we can save multiple items and somehow combine it with the table that we discussed in an earlier lesson, we can create a pretty nifty uh, grocery list app. So that's where actually we will be heading with all of these lessons. So I will catch you guys in the next lesson. Thanks.